Hey guys, I'm working through the chess.com streamer bots right now, and um, still in the sub 1000s. Next one up is Tectone. Tectone is a weeb gamer and PogChamp's full player. Can you focus against his unlimited charisma and win? Well, we shall find out. Okay, so I've got black. Knight h3. He says, was that, was that a good move? No, it wasn't. Okay. The Amar opening, allegedly. All right, what do I do? Do I push? Do I push f6? He's moved Freddy early doors, hasn't he? Um, do I develop a piece? And trade the wing pawn for... No. Not trading anything. He's just keen on pushing loads of pawns forwards. Okay. Alrighty. Um, let's develop another knight then. Now he's got two attackers on here, only one defender. So it might be time to push. Or I could push here. Still defended by the queen and the knight. Gets into his space a bit and stops this knight from coming to his natural square. So that seems okay. Not going to take too long over this game, I don't think. Okay, let's add another... Should we put this one in as a tall pawn here to replace that? Or here to defend that? Hmm. Let's move him here. It's got more scope, I think, on that, that diagonal. Oops, not that diagonal. That diagonal than he does on this diagonal. It's heavily populated with pawns. Okay, we'll just drop back then. That's fine. This pawn is triple defended anyway. Okay, now we have the option of en passant capture which I think I should take because um, if pawn takes we can trade queens and I force this king to move. Okay, he hasn't done that. I can now play this as an in-between move, I think. Um, my knight has a safe square there, safe square there, safe square there. My knight's perfectly happy, so I'm, I'm gonna do this. Okay, knight's taken. Um, now I can't go there. But I can centralize and go here, that's one idea. Oh, his pawns are everywhere, look at this. It's like a cat's jumped on the chessboard and knocked all his pawns over. Yeah, I think just centralizing the knight makes sense. I'm gonna to get to castle. Okay. Um, that knight doesn't pose an imminent risk, danger. This bishop is stuck defending this knight here. It must be noted. I have a fork on queen and bishop, which could result, could trigger a trade of queens. Um, Big question is, at this point in the game, well, how about here and put my knight there defended by the other knight? I think that's pretty cool as well. Uh, what else do we, do we have here? I think that looks all right. It also maybe allows me to do this. I need to get this bishop off the back rank. Okay, let's throw in the queen attack. Okay, queen has moved. Um, now I've blocked my bishop's attack on this, because otherwise takes, recapture, and then I could have grabbed the knight, but that's not possible. This put his queen in a really bad place there. Really bad place. But I'm going to take the bishop off, because the board's so open that even with... Oof. Huh. I could block with the bishop, or I could just move the queen. Um, do I have a check? I have a check, but it's, it's pointless. So... Bishop here, he pushes the pawn I take, so that's okay. 
I'm going to move the queen anyway because I don't want to leave my bishop pinned. Now he's failed to take my knight. Does he want to come in here? Does he want to push the pawn? I take... Knight takes. Is that a clever move by my opponent? Here? Now he pushes the pawn, I just grab his rook. So he's, he's down a piece right now. I'm grabbing his rook. Now the pin is gone. Okay. Would you like to trade queens, my friend? No, you would not. Okay, he's down a rook and a pawn now. Okay, undefended, undefended. I'm inclined to play rook e8. He could still... No, he can't castle because he can't go through that square. Or that square. <laughs> These bishops are killers. Okay, rook e8. Takes. Knight's now pinned. I've got knight here, I've got bishop here to attack the pinned piece. Right? Really important. Anytime you see or you can pin a piece, or you notice that a piece is pinned, or a piece is pinned itself by blocking a check, for example, think, how can I attack the pinned piece? It's one of the most fundamental tactics in chess. I kind of like that, because it means the knight's double pinned now. Queen falls, and so does the rook. And now this, it's got queen and rook in a line. Now I can take the rook with check. Boom! Boom! King can't go there or there or there or there. So. Any chickadee doodars? Queen's attacking my rook here. Uh. Just line up here and then get the other rook into the game. This is all pretty straightforward now. I think check here, bishop must take. That, that just blunders a piece in a variety of interesting ways. Um, okay, now. Attacks the queen. Uh, I'd like to move this rook to give my queen some options. Actually, moving this knight. Knight here. There's two attackers on the bishop there. And that's simply a blunder. Just didn't notice the piece was defended. And this is now threatening mate here. Now, you, what are we going to do? Move a pawn? Checkmate. Okay, there you go. So what was that, 700? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. A bit more than the previous 600, which is the, the wrapper. But, um, yeah, interesting little fun game. But definitely, definitely fell apart. I mean, that was a terrible opening. All right, he's given me the whole centre. Um, that was interesting. Uh, but too many little poor moves. Behind on development already. Another pawn move. And then th there's definitely you know, just some basic failures to capture hanging material is, is uh, unforgivable. And this is now just a super comfortable position for black, as you can see. Look, look at where his pawns aren't, you know? King's still in the middle of the board, no pawns around him. And it's just shooting fish in a barrel from this point. So there you go. So there you go. That's Tech Tone. Good luck against that particular bot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.